Hey Razorback fans, did you know that Little Rock's Pulaski Academy is home to the nation's leading passer? Oh yeah, and he's a future hog. Check out Braden Bratcher. Yo. Out of 17,000 high schools that play football, turns out he leads the nation in passing and leads the nation in total yards. Yeah, this year it happened, I, I was the number one stat leader. Set the national record against Springdale Harbor. A game that will I will remember forever. I mean, he had 900 total yards. Just something was clicking. Bratcher's got his man and Bratcher's got another touchdown. That was one of the best high school football seasons I've ever seen. Those are video game numbers, but the numbers that matter most, 510, 175, and ultimately, zero offers. Now set to be a preferred walk-on at Arkansas, Braden is out to prove that those stats are no fluke and that heart always beats height. I mean, I think it's not about the size of the players, but the size of the heart. What I would tell fans that haven't seen Braden Bratcher is he's the classic uh, big things come in little packages. I think what you can expect from me is a guy that every single day you're gonna, I'm going to be in there working. I'm trying to outwork everybody else around me. He's a competitor, you know, he's going to compete at a high level all the time. It's not coming in there as a scholarship guy. I, wanna, I need to prove myself, and that's what I'm doing every single day. Braden's no stranger to proving himself. Just put up the stats. You can check the stats. I mean, the stats aren't lying. The numbers aren't lying. Or put on the tape. Check the film. The film's not lying either. And it didn't happen by accident. He was everything you'd want in a quarterback. He really was. The video game numbers set some national and state records and then end up being the MVP of the state championship game. That's quite an accomplishment for a 5'10", 175-pound kid. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. You know, one of the things that hurt Braden was his, his size. Uh, colleges are looking for big kids. I mean, there's thousands of other high school quarterbacks they're looking at, and um, a guy that's taller than me has a has an arm and can run just as well as me, they're probably going to go with the taller guy. He's had a chip on his shoulder. Now they want the 6'4 quarterback with the strong arm. He's got a tremendously strong arm. He's got a cannon. That's honestly just the biggest shock. He's not the biggest guy, but his arm strength is unmatched. I can probably name one throw he missed to me all year. He's just so accurate. Such a great arm. That's kind of carried over to the field for me. Just every game that I was going to play, I wanted to go out there and give it all I had, leave it all in the field. and just I wasn't going to go out there and be scared. Like It was like no fear. Skills wise, He's a power five division one quarterback. And attitude and competition and as a player, he's definitely that skills wise. He reads the throw before he needs to make them. Having a vision for the field, being able to see the field and just the football knowledge that I've gained. It's unbelievable watching him run around and he's so quick and so fast and he knows where they're coming from even when he's not looking at them. And my mobility and arm strength for my size, I feel like that's gonna carry over tremendously. And then he's just got like the it factor that some people just have that makes them different than other people. He's just like different to where like he, he just makes the plays rise up to the occasion. It's something you can't teach. He's just got something natural in him. I just felt like when I was in the game, no matter what was going on, I was I was always had a confidence because Coach Kelly kind of instilled that. I was breaking down some film yesterday, as a matter of fact, and. And I wasn't even looking at him, but I kept seeing him. And I think that's the it factor that college coaches talk about. Coach Kelly, he always compared me to like Kyler Murray or Baker Mayfield. You know, they've got something that you can't measure. It's an intangible that it's, it's that winning type thing. You're just a winner. Been to two state championships as a starting quarterback and lost one and won, won this past one my senior year. Bratcher to Mason Cobb, the lateral to Joe Hyman, he goes 52 yards. It's gonna carry over into the next level. I didn't just have the it factor. I think all the, all the guys around me kind of pushed me and knew that I needed to be the guy to, to step it up. What is Arkansas getting? More than just some overlooked passer, but a scrapper with some downright swagger, ready for that next chapter, being that puzzle piece fit for a program resurrection. He's a kid that is the raw, the pure football player that just wants to be on the field anywhere, that he's the kind of kid that you want at the University of Arkansas to turn that program around. The state of Arkansas, I haven't been happy with the way the program's gone lately. Just do everything I can to help this program get turned around. It's gonna happen over time, but it's, it starts now. And um, I'm doing everything I can to benefit the team, make, this, make the winning culture, the Razorback culture, what it, what it needs to be and what it used to be. So. That's what we're going to do. State champion, national record holder, product of one of the nation's most storied football schools. On paper, a touted recruit, but with one pesky asterisk. Braden Stature forced a detour, paving a fork in the road between Fayetteville and Dallas. I always told myself, oh, I want to play football in college. I want to go try to play at the biggest level. 
I'm at a D1 level. So that's kind of what my mindset was the whole time. And uh, I never really saw any of those offers until uh, SMU gave me a preferred walk-on. We had a little ceremony for the preferred walk-ons and I announced that I was going to further my career at SMU. After signing day and at the 11th hour, new head hog Sam Pittman and offensive coordinator Kendall Bryles opened a door Braden thought was shut. A few weeks later, Arkansas came around and told me that they wanted to give me a preferred walk-on. And I was very excited, but also put in a situation um, where I had to make a decision again. Even though Arkansas's home, I've always wanted to be a Razorback, I still, it still took much thought to um, make my decision. They told me to come up there. They wanted me to come up there and visit and speak with them. My main concern was uh, I'm gonna go up there at a bigger school and uh, not get the chance that, I, that, I'm wanting, that I'm wanting to get. His main thing, he said, he's not gonna lie to you. He's gonna be honest with you. And everything he told me was, was not the case. And if I go up there and do what I'm supposed to do, then I'll, then I'll get my shot. His grandmother cheered at Arkansas. His grandfather strapped it up for the 64 National Championship team. And his uncle also walked on. Now Braden continues the tradition. There's so much to look forward to to be up at, in my home state at Arkansas with just the, the atmosphere. Because my uncle and my grandpa played up there and uh, that's what they always told me, that it was the best thing to be able to run through the A. The fans are the best fans in the country and I believe that. Just being a Razorback, there's, I don't feel like there's anything else that I could ask for. Very exciting. Um, I can just imagine all the adrenaline going through me. It really is a dream come true. It's something I've always wanted. It's kind of surreal to think about that it's actually here and happening. There's all these scholarship guys, but then they look at you, prefer to walk on. I'm, a, I'm all right with being preferred walk on. It gives me an edge and makes me push harder and have more motivation and more drive to show them what I can do and push myself to be the best. When you're you know, worried about the size, watch a kid in practice. All of a sudden that size doesn't matter as much. I get it from the outside looking in, but once you get to know him and see all that he brings to the table, I think they're gonna be so happy they, they picked him up and, and got a late, uh, late addition to their football team because he's gonna be better for them in the locker room, on the practice field, on the game field. My goal is to see the field as soon as I can, wherever, if it's quarterback or slot receiver, whatever it is, I told them that I just wanna see the field. I wanna, as soon as I can, that's my goal. Wherever I can see the field and wherever they need me, that's where I'm gonna be. Nick Walters, Fox 16.